That's another interpretation of saying Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. At that ghee, where did that come from? The milk originally came from the cow, isn't it? You're not squeezing the cow. Right? Hopefully not. <laughs> the milk that comes from the cow, right? This is not any cow we are talking about. We are talking about Vedamata, man. The knowledge that comes from the Vedas. If I take that, and again, we have talked about this, so I'll say it very briefly because we talked about this in detail at, at other times. If, you, if that has to become ghee that can burn in this janma, it has to go through so many phases. Before. You cannot... Have you ever lit a lamp with milk? <laughs> You'll be bigger crack than me if you do that, right? <laughs> or, or curds. <laughs> no, it, it won't burn. It will not burn, right? There's only one thing, but but the ghee came from curds, yogurt, right? And the yogurt came from the milk. But the milk will not light the lamp, the yogurt will not light the lamp, but the ghee will light the lamp. So when I say, when I say Tamasoma Jyotirgami, another way of looking at that is, hey, you're giving me all this Vedic knowledge. The milk. I got the milk, okay? It's there. The cow is there, the milk is there, but help me go from milk to ghee, which means that let it first become yogurt. So, uh, in Kannada, we call, uh, anyway, uh, you know, you need to put a drop, you heat it and cool it down and put a drop of yogurt from yesterday, right? And then it solidifies. So, and we have talked about this before. This is this is Mantra Padesha from a Guru. So you get this Vedic knowledge, you heat it up, that means manana. You, you do manana, let it cool, then you get a Mantra Padesha from a Guru. That one drop, just one little drop called, called Mantra Padesha will solidify that knowledge. You churn that, keep applying it all your life. You keep churning that and magically, as Purandara Dasa says, magically, Someday that butter will come. You know what? You cannot even light that butter. <laughs> even the butter you cannot light. So even that bhakti, which we call namanita, the, uh, the butter, even that you cannot light. You have to heat that too. Because even that has water and sedimentation. So the way you turn, how, what is the difference between ghee and butter? Ghee is butter minus the water content and minus the sedimentation, minus the rajasic component. So, bhakti minus the rajasic component and the thamasic component, you heat that, cool it down and filter. Similarly, even that bhakti has to be clarified. You know, ghee they call clarified butter, right? So, even in that, I have to do something to take out that rajasic and thamasic component in that bhakti. And what is left, that is the ghee that if lit, Bhagavanta will accept that. It, that energy goes, it resonates with him. Navanita Chora. So the, the, only, the only energy that will resonate with him, that's why they say, Tupadipatha Devar Gogatan, you know, Bhagavantan Gogatan, right? So the only way to do that is that, Take that Vedic knowledge, you do manana in that and let it be, you know, after it cools down, you know, temperature wise, comes to room temperature, put a mantra padesha from a guru, wait for some time, it solidifies, you churn that, the butter comes out magically, bhakti comes out and even that bhakti, you heat that, let the rajasik, you know, when you boil the, when you heat the butter, right? So the the steam goes up, right? So, have you seen the thing? It, it like it bubbles out and it pus pus something. So the steam comes out. So even that when you heat that, that bhakti, the rajasic component will all evaporate and go away. And then the sedimentation will go to the bottom. And then you filter that. That is the only thing that will burn. That's the only thing that will burn. So, when I say, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, I'll say, let this janma, let this wick be soaked 
in ghi. So it's not just getting the knowledge. There's a there's a huge distance between just people. You know, say, oh, will you do pata? Will you do prachana? Yeah, I can do all those things, <laughs> but uh, you cannot light the lamp, right? <laughs> so what's it? What good is it for you? I can do it. It's like somebody says, okay, you want a gallon of, you say, I want a gallon of milk. I say, okay, fine, I'll give you a gallon of milk. Yeah, you can drink it. It's okay, but it's not lighting any lamp. So if if this really has to, this janma really has to become a, a sadhana, if it really has to become a light, if it really emits energy that is resonant with Sri Krishna, then you have to go through these stages. There's no shortcut. But even with all that, you do all of those things. You struggle, 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 and you do all of those things. And the bhatti, the wick, is soaked in that ghee. Even then there may be no light. Even then you're dependent on him to come and light that lamp. That is my take on Tamasoma Jyotir Gamesh Krishna Arpanamastha.